the Church of Thomas. 10909, you have nowhere else to go. This is a way of expressing an idea that I have uh, lived with a good bit of my life. Uh, often, figures that want to instill a loyalty that is unearned will use this phrase to uh, keep people fearful so that they do not seek something better, a higher goal. Uh, when I was a teenager uh, and I decided that I wanted to start socializing, uh, unfortunately there was a criminal element that was in charge of the gay bars. Uh, the problem with this was that they were marginally legal. They paid kickbacks to the police to make sure that they weren't raided often. Uh, and basically this criminal element would, when we would complain that a Coke cost $7 and uh, a mixed drink was $15 to $20, uh, that you have nowhere else to go. Well, this kind of fear is the kind of thing that Jesus fought against. Throughout the latter half of the Bible, uh, the New Testament, there are many references to the idea that fear is a tool of Satan, and it is. One of the things that John the Baptist's birth and the birth of Jesus was to herald was an ability to talk directly to God and to quit fearing life, your enemies, etc. And to quit fearing God. Uh, it's something that I've seen used even in people that were supposed to be people that were Christians. Uh, there was a minister a while back that I was helping at that church and when there was dissent because she was voting herself a pay raise that wasn't merited uh, and it wasn't a cost of living raise and ministries were being cut right and left but she wanted a raise. Well, the thing that she said in her sermon was, you have nowhere else to go. Well, I voted with my feet because I always have a place to go. Here is a quote about fear and how the birth of these young people was meant to encourage people to quit fearing the unknown and to get out there and see what else is available because there's always some place else you can go. This quote is Luke 1.74. The background on this is this is the song that Zachariah sang when John the Baptist was being born. He uh, was talking about the prophecy and the era where Jesus would be born and that John would talk about. And verse 74 says, To rescue us from the hand of our enemies and to enable us to serve him without fear. Fear has been used by Satan through abusers throughout the centuries. Whenever you have somebody who can't control you through reason, who can't convince you that in your own best interest it is good to be in their environment, they will use outside enemies or the lack of ability to change your circumstances, fear to keep you under control. Uh, recently, I had a boss of my boss say something that raised the hackles on the back of my neck immediately because it reminded me of what had happened in these bars. Uh, we've been going through some, um, uh, how shall I call it, reorganizing Unfortunately, a lot of the reorganizing is for the sake of reorganizing. Uh, reinventing the wheel seems to be very popular in my place of work. Uh, but this boss said, 
there aren't any jobs out there. You should be happy to have this job that you have now. Now, you, I have to give you a little bit of background here. This is an environment where um, there's a job description, which is pretty reasonable. Most places have them. But the way that evaluations are done is you have to do more than your job description to be even looked at as being a little bit more than normal. And when I asked, you know, I mean, I'm always curious. I asked, so how is it that I'm supposed to shine if doing my job very well doesn't get accolades? They said, well, everybody's responsibility is everyone else's job. And all I could think is, well, let's see, I'm not a registered nurse, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a surgeon, I'm not an administrator, but I'm responsible for their jobs too. So I said, so if I perform CPR on somebody in the hallways, you know, uh, trying to do my job, uh, and I don't normally have patient contact, so that would be unusual, or a visitor has collapsed, they said, oh no, that would be part of your job. Now, that's very interesting because um, if I weren't at, at my place of work, this would be considered something above the ordinary. Most people would not do it, even though it, it would be a good idea if you did. So, there is no way of getting to stand above the crowd at this location. We had a team. It was developed, uh, took a while to get settled in together. We got to where we were functioning very smoothly together. Um, and we had a system. It flowed smoothly. It was head and shoulders above the organizational uh, structure that had been there before we formed this team. And now they're totally throwing it out. Um, and this is because uh, the number of patients that are coming to this institution has fallen off. Now, I can understand downsizing a little bit, but totally throwing out the baby with the bathwater does not make any sense at all. And every time something like this happens, we say, but why are you doing this? It doesn't make any sense. And the first thing out of this supervisor of my supervisor's mouth is always, well, there's, there's not a lot of jobs out there. You should be happy to have the job you have. Again, this is fear. Because Satan uses fear, you have to look for the lies embedded underneath. One of the things that happened uh, a while back when I was wondering if I had made the right decision to join this particular uh, place of business, um, I had started looking at my other options. Again, I always have other options. And I had a job offer from a different institution. And they started one of these organizational things, and she said her little spiel, and all I could think is, but I have another job offer. What do you mean there aren't any jobs out there? Again, lies are going to be at the heart of all of this fear-mongering. So, always delve underneath the surface and see if there really is a truth there. And if they have a reason to make you fearful so that you don't look for other things. If you never look outside of your environment, you're never going to reach anything higher. Fear is what keeps you from reaching for that higher level. So reach for that higher level. You can do it. And fear is the only thing that's standing in your way. Failure is a part of life. But if you never try, you're never going to get anything. You're never going to achieve anything. You're never going to do any good. God bless the whole world, no exceptions. Angel of Liza.